Welcome to LabFam Podcast, a podcast exploring research on how work shapes our lives, our families and our future. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating new study that examines the profound impact of technological advancements and globalisation on a very personal decision, whether or not to have children. We live in an era of rapid technological change. Automation, artificial intelligence and the rise of the knowledge economy are transforming the job market at an unprecedented pace. But how are these shifts affecting our most fundamental choices, like starting a family? This new research suggests a powerful link between the type of work we do and our likelihood of becoming parents. The study reveals a growing divide in family formation. Those in highly skilled, cognitive jobs, think software developers, data analysts or consultants, are more likely to become parents. On the other hand, those in non-cognitive occupations or those unemployed are increasingly delaying or even forgoing parenthood altogether. Why is this happening? The researchers argue that this trend is directly tied to the changing demands of the labour market. Technology and globalisation have created a surge in demand for highly skilled workers. These jobs often come with better pay, greater job security and sometimes more flexible work arrangements. These factors create a more favourable environment for starting and raising a family. In contrast, those in less skilled roles face greater job insecurity, lower wages and fewer opportunities for advancement, making the prospect of parenthood much more daunting. Now, this study also looked at the gender dynamics at play. Interestingly, the patterns of becoming parents are becoming more similar for men and women in these high-skilled cognitive roles. This suggests that women's economic position is playing an increasingly important role in family decisions, mirroring the traditional role of men's economic stability. However, there are some nuances. For instance, women in roles requiring strong social and interactive skills were more likely to have children than men in similar roles. This was an unexpected finding and warrants further investigation. Of course, no study is without its limitations. This research relied on occupational data rather than individual level data, which might not capture the full complexity of individual work experiences. Also, factors like a partner's occupation, which could significantly influence family planning, weren't included in the analysis. Further research is needed to explore these nuances in greater depth. Despite these limitations, this study offers a crucial insight into how the changing world of work is shaping our most personal decisions. As technology continues to reshape the job market, it's vital to understand these trends and create policies that support all individuals in achieving their family goals, regardless of their occupation. We need to ensure that the benefits of technological progress are shared broadly and that everyone has the opportunity to thrive, both professionally and personally. That's all for this episode of LabFam Podcast. We hope this discussion has given you some food for thought. Join us next time as we continue to explore the evolving relationship between work, technology and the future of families. Music